Welcome to Navbytes by Evasoft, where you can learn about Microsoft Dynamics Nav while you are having your morning coffee. Today we are looking at viewing item availability. For any business who trades in physical products, the ability to see an accurate quantity of the stock available is critical. This is particularly true when you are performing business tasks such as talking to a customer about a delivery date. There are two figures which are important in inventory considerations. These are inventory, or quantity on hand, which shows the actual quantity today, and the projected available balance, which is calculated and shows the quantity on hand plus scheduled receipts minus gross demand. In Business Central, there are two functions which show you detailed availability figures. The first is called Items by Location, and the other is called Item Availability By, with a number of options to select from. We will go to an item card and look at these functions. Select the item card you want to look at and open the card. The first function is on the Navigate tab of the ribbon. Go to Navigate, Availability, Items By Location. This function gives you a matrix to overview all items, showing you stock levels of that item in each location. This is a good option if you want to offer your customers alternate items which are currently available from their preferred location. The other function is also in Navigate, Availability and Items Availability By. You then have your choice of six alternatives. These options are Event, where you can view the actual and projected available balance of an item over time according to supply and demand events. An event is a scheduled item transaction, such as a sales shipment or an inbound purchase or transfer receipt. On the Options section of the header, you have filters for locations, variants and granularity of periods. The gross requirement, which is the total demand for this item, includes sales, service and transfer orders and the use of the item in components for production. The scheduled receipt includes incoming stock from purchase, transfer and production orders. The projected available balance shows the item's availability and includes all known supply and demand, such as purchase orders, transfer orders, sales orders and the use of the item as a component for production. It does not include anticipated demand from production forecasts, blanket sales orders or suggested supplies from planning or requisition worksheets. The forecast of projected inventory is the projected available balance plus forecasts. To see or hide the detail lines, click on the Assist Edit and Expand All or Collapse All. Period shows the projected quantity of an item according to time periods, such as day, week or month. View As allows you to see either net change or balance at date. Variant shows availability figures by variant if you are using these. Location shows the actual and projected quantity of the item by location. This is similar to items by location, but shows you details of this one item only. Inventory is the inventory level of the item as it appears on the item list. Bomb level allows you to view availability figures for items and bill of materials that show you how many units of a parent item you can make based on the availability of the child items. Timeline gets you a graphical view of an item's projected inventory based on future supply and demand events. You would normally use by period or event if you want to guarantee your customer a date when you can ship their goods. The item availability by is also available to view on a sales line. Open a sales order and select the line you want. Go to more options, line, item availability by and select the option you want. With these availability figures on the sales order, you can discuss delivery options with your customer while they are on the phone placing their order. Thank you for watching. Please go to our website and look out for more Navbytes next time you are having coffee.